Cap it, homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. Uh, I just hit the stop. Uh, I don't want to speak. I'm talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Assess. It's BC along with my fellow friend AJ. What's up, guys? How are we? Welcome to episode two. All right, guys, so the first episode is out. It's on Spotify. We're working on Apple Music or Apple Podcasts, sorry. And uh, it's on YouTube as well. So the easiest place to find it is probably Instagram. And then you can link to uh, to YouTube or, or Spotify yep. um, at Cook Bros. Anyway, we've been having, I mean, we're already having a lot of fun doing this. And yeah. we're just going to continue to do so. This is awesome. And thank you guys for the support. Like, we're just uh, really, really enjoying the journey and going to see where it takes us. I mean, maybe nobody will listen, but here we are. Yeah, yeah. We got some good feedback and we also got some hate which is to be expected yeah um so all right today you know we're going back and forth on uh basically what to talk about next and i wanted to do something that wasn't snowmobile specific wasn't hunting specific uh basically just talking about what the purpose behind this podcast is and uh it's not snowmobiling contrary to popular like belief broad range like yeah. outdoors yeah just general everything of our life like just lifestyle yeah, yeah so so i was on the phone with aj and i'm like dude what should we do and so we're talking i'm like let's just talk about why we do all the things that we do like yeah. living in a small town which i'm not saying you can't do this in a bigger city but uh, living in a small town, just doing uh, snowmobiling, hunting, side by side riding, hiking, fishing, camping, fishing, camping. Yep. yeah, all of it. Yeah, and I, it just like not that you can't do it out of the city, like you're saying, right? But it's just so accessible for us here, yep. you know, and yep. easy. Not like you can get off work on a Friday and be like, you know what, I'm gonna go do this this weekend, and you can just go do it. You know, you don't have to think twice about it. You can just go do it. You don't have to plan it. It's not like a planning a vacation every year to go do these outdoors things. You know, it's something we can just do on a whim or even, you know, go watch the sunset go down from the mountains or yeah. go up and yeah. cross a line. Yeah. Yeah. I love a sunset on a mountain. <laughs> Oof. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So going off that, I mean, the thing is, is like why it, it's like, it's hard to explain to people that don't understand it, but we do this because it's a, it's a release, you know, like yeah, you can, yeah, you, you have a long day at work, you have a, a long week at work or even a couple weeks at work or, you know, you're grinding through something. You just you get outdoors, you get away from it, you know, the hustle, the bustle, the everything, you just get away, you clear your mind. I don't know. It's uh, Yeah. And one of the other things that I was thinking about when we kind of talked about doing this topic is there's something to be said about, um, the, challenge of nature like it doesn't yeah. matter what you're doing whether you're hunting especially hunting yeah but absolutely. secondary is with snowmobiling yeah. you are literally in an uphill battle no pun intended <laughs> it literally at all times all like times. you the weather the terrain the physicality the everything putting your mind to the test and what we find whether you're snowmobiling trying to do the toughest line that is out there or whether you're hunting and you have a bull elk five foot from your face bugling or you're hiking and you're on your last whim or maybe you're running a cross country ultra yeah um hiking yeah you're putting yourself to the test and that is what we find peace in because you you're not able to focus on any of the bs that that normal people and people that are in the cities on their phones, you're not able to focus on that because if you focus on that, well, you, you're going to fail yeah. or you're going to die. Well, mother nature <laughs> puts you to the test, right? Yeah. Like, just like you said, weather, especially here, you know, the weather can change. I mean, this morning or this afternoon, a rainstorm blew in, you know, yeah. like no one expected that. If you're out hiking a trail and you're like, even on your way back, well, what do you do? Well, you deal with it. You yeah. Know, you be prepared. So then you got a pack on your back, you know, and you got more weight, whatever. And it's just that challenge. And I think that challenge, you know, you have to go into that fight or flight survival mode 
to do things outdoors. And what that does is it puts your mind in that, that headspace of this is what we're doing. You know, you right. cannot think about the other things of like, oh man, I got to go make this deal or, oh, I got to go do this or whatever. You know, I got this project going on. Can't do that because you have to focus on what you're doing. Oh, you trip up on that log, you're going to break your leg, you know, whatever yeah. that may be. And I think that's what like the, you know, I talk to a lot of people that live in cities and it's like, man, I wish I could do that. Man, I wish I could do this. That's so cool. Stone building so cool. Hunting so cool. And the thing is, is it's, it's not, it's intimidating to get into. I mean, I agree. Oh yeah, it is intimidating. Absolutely. But the thing is, is anyone can get into it. Yes, we're not we're not uh, in the NBA asking you to be the best basketball player of all time or anything like that. Like it's super simple. You know, grab a gun, grab a tag, and go put yourself to the test. And maybe you'll kill something, maybe you won't. But you're putting yourself in a position to forget about all the all the noise of living in the 21st century. It's like. I love being on my phone. I love being on Instagram. I love viewing content, but I have to be honest. I mean, I hate to call it like anxiety or uh, like just not feeling great, but you get to that point when all you're doing is looking at other people, looking at um, what they're doing, how much fun they're having, how rich they are. And as we all know, it's such BS. Yeah. Oh, well, but, I don't know. Let's be honest. Like, I'm sure you probably follow a lot of the same stuff that I do, but like, I follow people hunting. I follow people fishing. I follow people snowmobiling because that's like the lifestyle that I live or want to live, you know, pursue. So, okay. I look at it on my phone and I scroll through it where I'm like, well, why don't you just get off your ass and go outside and go fish, go mm-hmm. hunt, go look for antlers, go, you know, whatever it may be go do it. Why not? You know, you, the only thing stopping us is ourselves like, Oh yeah. Sit on your couch, scroll through your phone. No, go do it. It's right there. I feel like. Yeah. And this is the thing is like with this topic, it's so, you know, we talked about this. It is so hard to explain this to people that don't like, this is why we're kind of all over the place in this, in this podcast, but it's just like, how do you, yeah. You know, it's just hard to grasp, right? Like you have to, it's hard to articulate what it is that we're trying to under, like understand here, make you guys comprehend what what it is. But right, it's, it's like putting yourself in in shoes of uh, like for example, if you guys, well, it, say, say you live in a city and like maybe you guys lift weights, okay? There's a certain challenge and a certain level of test that you're put to every single time that you go into the gym, and for those of you who go to the gym consistently, not saying that I'm one of them, but (laughs) if you go to the gym consistently, you probably find peace in the struggle of, of lifting the weight. And that's the same thing with hunting. It's like, you know, pursuing an animal, packing an animal out, or when it comes to snowmobiling, like how many times have you been in a situation where it's, there's a blizzard setting in, you have no idea where you are. (laughs) you're stuck and yep. you're like dude i might not get out of here tonight yeah like you're prepared to stay the night there but you're like i don't really want to stay the night here but <laughs> yeah. but then also like that heart sinking feeling when you do actually succeed let's say like you make right. it back to the truck or you pack that animal out where you're two miles away and you're dying and your back hurts and your legs are about to quit on you the only reason they move is because your brain's telling it to it's a great feeling like <laughs> I, I don't know why but like yeah. You put that pack on the tailgate of the truck, and you're just like, oh, man, that, that was that was worth it. Yeah. That was worth it. You know, I, I think to relate to that to the gym, like you were saying, is the great example of why do you go to the gym? Well, because that great feeling you get when you're done, you know? When you're right. in the middle of it, grinding through a workout, you don't want to be there. That's the yeah. worst part of it. But when you get done, that feeling, that energy it gives you, that's the, you know, and that's the same reward that I think we look for just in an outdoors platform, I feel yeah. like. And uh, the thing, so speaking on, it's not bigger cities, but I'm just going to call it bigger cities. It's like when I go into a bigger city, it, well, I feel claustrophobic because it's like, oh my God, there's so many people, there's so many cars, there's so many buildings. Can't see the stars. Yeah. But not only that, it's like you don't see peace. It's like everyone's, you know, trying to, make money so they can impress someone or they 
want to be cool or they want to be like, I don't even know how to put it into words. It's just, you don't see a lot of happiness and there is happiness in big cities, but it's just like, you see these people, you meet these people through snowmobiling, through, through hunting. And it's like, you just feel that like they are happy doing what they're doing. And when you go to a mall in freaking Denver or Phoenix or anywhere, it's like, you just see people. It's like, bro, like what is the purpose of what you're doing? Like, Dude, I don't even know how to put it into words. This is the problem with this topic. Yeah, and it's like hard. talking it's, about this. It's like I don't even know how to put it into words. It's just there's such a problem with, well, that's like I was saying, like if you want to call it mental health yeah. or whatever you want to call it, like literally there's a huge problem because people are so focused on things that they can't control. Like they're focused yeah. on you know, am I cool or am I this or am I that? And it's like, when you're out hunting, there's nothing. AJ, have you ever thought about how cool you are when you're out hunting? No, never worried about it. Yeah. I mean, that's why, yeah. Yeah. No, you just, you can't worry about it. You know, well, for one, nobody's watching, nobody's looking. Yeah. Or if they are, it's terrifying, but (laughs) you're not, you know, like it's just one of those things. No, you're not worried about that stuff. It's a different, different setting, I feel like. And I think you're, you're close to like describing it in the way of, like when you're in the city and you're there, you see these people, they're working, they're, you know, hustling, whatever, but their work, their drive, their hustle for a vacation to come to a place like this. I feel <laughs> yeah. Like, right. Yeah. Like, or they, for what? Or for, for what? what? Yeah. What are they trying to do? I, yeah. don't, I don't know, you know, but it seems like a lot of the people in like that we have encounters with are, man, I'm trying to, you know, get through this month's work to come ride a snowmobile out there. Or I'm going to come hunt out there this year, you know? And yeah. it's like, that's what they, focus on looking forward to and that's where we're just so lucky to have it right here is like it's at our fingertips you know yeah and (laughs) yeah i think seeing the shift of people go from from big cities to small towns it's going to continue to grow but dude i mean there there's a major problem whether you're talking about school shootings whether you're talking about i mean dude here's the deal you could go crazy into this topic of the problems in america right now but it's like it exists with people that are in the outdoors a lot and stuff like that. But you like for, when There's you're out escape. in the outdoors, yeah, like it There's resets you. Yeah. Like yeah. I was just talking about, it's like last weekend I didn't get to be in the outdoors much. It was Mother's Day or something like that. I don't even know what it was. And then the weekend before that, I was on the road and I'm like, my life sucks. Up. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, dude, I need to go like, yeah, I need to go outside. I need to like get away from everything. I need to go where there's no cell service, where there's no internet and just like chill because, it, dude, I mean, it's funny you say you talk about the, the mountain sunset. It's like the mountain sunset, we live in the mountains. Yep. You will never realize the sunset when you're in town, when you have cell service. No. You don't when even you, know. It's right. just dark all it's the like, time. It's like, oh no. Yeah. Dark. Like yeah. you you know, you get up from social media and you're done checking your phone. Oh God, it's dark. It's dark. You you're out in the mountains, like every sunrise, every sunset, you know, you see, you feel, you're tired when the sun goes down, you're ready yep. to wake up when the you know, sun comes oh, up. Oh yeah. That sun comes through the window and you're bright eyed, bush yeah. ready to go, you know, or every night. I mean, every single night I feel like you look and you see the red or the, you know, yellow tint to it, or you know, it's not every night, but you, you take a second and you look at it and you just go, <sighs> you know, like it just, it's, it's a, a relief to see, you know, it's just like, yeah. man, that's, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. And you know, that was something uh, when we were in Denver for uh, Supercross, we watched qualifying and then I was like, oh man, I got to run in, go to the bathroom, grab a hot dog, whatever. Actually, it was, grab many, a, it was mini donuts coated in sugar, let's be honest. You know, grab a $15 on the pack of mini donuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is what it is. But, like, it was daylight when I was watching the last race. I walk inside, do all that, come back out. And I'm like, it's dark? Like, what happened? You know, like, I just, yeah. you didn't even, it, it, it caught me off guard, honestly, because I'm not used to that. Honestly, I'm used to working and living out in the middle of nowhere to where it's yeah. like you live and die by, like, the sun. The sun is your light and your, you know, your darkness and that's all you can work with. But there it was like a whole, it was daytime and it was nine, 10 o'clock at night. You know, it just, I think it creates a different environment. And I think that environment 
is what, you know, creates that anxiety and everything like that, that we can escape from, I think. No, a hundred percent. I mean, it's, we're kind of all over the place in this podcast, but it's, it's just so hard to explain. Yeah, if you it's don't, really hard to like, explain. Like, I know there's people out there that's like, dude, exactly, bro, exactly. That's exactly how I feel when I go hunting. It's exactly how I feel when I go snowmobiling. And you get it. So good for you because there's a lot of people, like I'm sure a lot of, of you guys watching right now, you probably don't get it. But yeah. we're trying to do our best to explain explain what we're talking about here. And I highly suggest if you, you haven't experienced it, go experience it. Go drive out into the middle of nowhere and watch the sun go down. It will probably change your life. You know, like there's just something comforting about it of just being in the middle of nowhere, nothing, no service, no distractions, and just nature, just letting nature do its thing. Just gosh darn nature. Nature, nature. Nature. But I want to take this somewhere wild right now because since we're kind of on the topic, like health-wise, I I don't know about you, but I drank Mountain Dew. Like I drank one a day almost for the last two years, I feel like. And my health was like, didn't feel like I was doing good. I don't know if it was like <laughs> gut health, like just mental health, like what, but like the last couple of weeks I've just been like not doing good. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to quit drinking soda. And this Monday I quit. And it was, it's been a good, like steady increase of energy levels, everything. I don't know why, but like, it's just, it seems like those small changes, you know, and that's something I feel like I catch myself taking more note of is like little things that I can improve my life on versus like, I don't know. I don't know in the city. I don't know if that's something that you really focus on, but like, I'm not worried about catching that release. Cause I know, you know, tomorrow night I'm going to go do whatever in the middle of nowhere and get that, that release I need. But the Mountain Dew thing really was drink, bringing me down. And I don't do I mean, yeah, it's like going on a, I mean, it's probably the caffeine. Oh yeah. It's exactly. not, it's not that much caffeine compared to like, dude, I was, I was looking at yesterday. I drank 400 milligrams of caffeine. Jeez. And for those of you that like work out a lot and take pre-workout, oh yeah, it's nothing, bro. I take freaking 700. Well, 400 for an average person is a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then you have sleep problems, and then you have all kinds of problems. Well, and most of the stuff has sugar in it too, you know, and that's just dragging you down. It seems like, but the the caffeine's a major problem. That's, I mean, I tend to live off it sometimes, but yeah. it's like. I'm trying to get away from it. You know, I, I caught myself. I was like, oh, I'm not drinking Mountain Dew. And then I was like getting fuel at come and go. And I was like, I should go grab Red Bull. And I was like, no, that's the whole point of this. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Like, you're just replacing something. It's you like know? dudes that are like, bro, I quit smoking. I'm like, that's awesome, dude. Now I now I chew now. <laughs> <laughs> we just made a sideways move. Yeah. Sideways yeah. move. Yeah. And that's All what right. I, was, I was like trying not to do a sideways move. And I don't, I'm going to give this a go. I've. I've tried it before, and I always end up back on the Mountain Dew train. Usually hunting season kills me. I yeah. don't know why I like get up early, the you know, working through the day, whatever, and then hunting at night, and then I'm like, yeah, Mountain Dew's just what's going to get me through today. <laughs> That's always the killer on me, but I'm going to give it a go and see how long I can go again, I guess, because it just, the mental health of it, man, like it was just really dragging me down. Like I just felt like I was just not doing good. I don't no. know. It's wild. But, and I don't know, like, that's something I can kind of relate to the same thing of I haven't rode a snowmobile in a few weeks. I'm just like, man, I got to get out and do something and yeah, been working work. on the house, trying to build a garage, et cetera. You know, it's just doing that stuff. And we, uh, we usually put a boat in at Flaming Gorge and I haven't got a chance to work on it yet. Get it ready to put it in. And we're going to go do that tomorrow. And that's going to be kind of my release of like, you're going to go put it in tomorrow. We're not going to put it in. We're just going to go like start waxing and get the plugs in the motor and all that, get mm -hmm. it ready, get the air conditioner hooked up and all that stuff. But yeah, it's just that's gonna be my release of like, yeah, there's there's a there's something out there. Dangle that carrot a little bit, you know. We'll be on the lake soon. Hopefully, in a couple weekends, we'll be, you know, putting her in the drink. So you know, guys, on this whole topic, it's we've we talked and talked and talked about how to explain this to people, and maybe we hit home with you, and maybe we didn't, but we hope we did. So we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. And uh, if you have any questions reach out but the thing that we want to portray to you guys for those of you who don't know try something new go outside put your body to the test and see what happens like we are so cooped up in our lives right now with social media with tv with the nba playoffs with everything going on right now 
it is so hard to like get back to what you were meant to do. And that creates problems when it comes to mental health, physical health, everything. So this is our crazy shot at explaining why you need to get outside and why you need to, if you live in a city, great, but do what you need to do to, you know, get in touch with something other than looking at other people's lives, go out and do something that makes you feel good. Um, if you're in a small town, you probably already get it. If you're, if you're close to nature, if you're in the mountains, you probably already get it. Yeah. But even, you know, with springtime coming for the people that are here, get back to your, your old ways. You know, there's nothing holding you back right now. It's, it's nice out. The the weather's good. You know, there's going to be different challenges, but those challenges are what's on the, you know, maybe be what you need. So I think, uh, that's a great place to wrap it up and yeah. Thanks guys for listening. Appreciate it. And go test yourself physically and mentally, no matter what it is. And, uh, help start social media if you're scared and I mean, anything, just push yourself to do something that you wouldn't normally do. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, we love you. Thank you for watching. Throw some hate in the comments. If, uh, if you're that kind of person and, uh, love to hear it, love to see it. Honestly, yeah, it's good. It. it means yeah. we're doing something. It may <laughs> yeah. not be right, but we're doing something. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. We're taking action. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, catch us, us on at, the normal. Yeah. 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 Follow us on cook bros or at, uh, uh Stoffel 800. That's S T O F F L E 800 on Instagram. Yep. And cook bros on Instagram. So thank you guys. We love you. And, uh, we'll see you on the next pod or you'll hear from us on the next pod rather. Peace. Bye. Bye.